we're going to be doing a couple of gifts. I love DIY. I think when you give out presents, um, buying them, of course, is super cool and special. But when you do them yourself, you put a little of your love into the gift. So, if you want two very cool ideas, one from Batman's dance and one from Mary Fans, please do my ones. To start off the holiday season, how about a cool Batman bracelet? This was inspired by one of my closest friends. Um, Batman is just, you know, Batman! By the way guys, there's two really cool, really cute DIYs that I'm presenting you guys that you can give as gifts or for yourself, of course, <laughs> that's always an option, are both made of the foamy or a multiple foam that I have been using for pretty much every craft I've been doing lately. Ever since I found it, fell in love with it, and as always I'll leave the link on the description down below. Pretty much I bought a black one and we're gonna trace the Batman logo. There's many different versions. There's one like in with the back yellow round stuff. There's another one that it's like more less rounded you could say. That's all up to you. And we're pretty much just gonna be tracing it and giving it the form. I'm using this really cool bracelet that one of my other friends had given me um, to sort of shape it up. I want to make it open, by the way, because that way it can fit many sizes of, you know, hand, arm, I don't even know how that body part is called. And guys, Honestly, this turned out to be even cooler than I thought it would. And we're going to need to add some straps. I initially thought I was going to make it like long enough so that I would just, you know, put it on my bracelet and it would fit just like a glove. But I had ended up turning a little less long so I had to add some strips. And... To add a little extra, I'm doing like this small details. Initially, I bought it black to not have to paint it, but the paint does give it a more professional look. And the paint that I use actually ends up like a little more, I don't know, it gives it like a little shine to it. And pretty much, guys, it's just the same paints that parents buy their kids when they go to school. I'm doing the straps white so that when I put the yellow on top, it will look more. Because sometimes black, it's a little complicated to get the yellow or lighter tones. And I hope you guys like it because I love it. And the person I'm giving to, whenever she gets it, I'm sure she'll love it. I am Batman. No, I'm not. Now for this next DIY, I had done a really cute phone stand for my mom like so many years ago. I don't think I ever recorded the process. But since it was made of modeling clay, it was hard and it broke at times, so I thought now that I have this filmy, I can make a stand that won't break and that will still be strong. And if you know anything about me, or if you don't, here's a little tip. I love mermaids. Like, maybe it's the whole fact of, you know, being a red hair and the little mermaid, but I do. <laughs> I love them. So we're going to be doing a mermaid tail to hold our phone and the details I'm using a craft knife and that craft knife is going to be our little helper. You could technically just 
make the lines of the different scales but since it's 3D I prefer making them with the knife and the design is actually rather rather simple it takes a lot of time and patience but it's so worth it guys to help our mermaid we are adding also a small pearl which is you know you roll a little ball and for the part that's at the bottom I chose more of the black one that I used for the Batman bracelet and turning it into a little piece of sand like a corner you could say also I thought it would have been really cool to have made it like in the shape of a shell or something like that but since it has to be flat I thought it was better that way we're gonna be of course painting the pearl white I wanted to add like some glitter some white glitter but I didn't have if you guys have that would make it like even cuter initially I thought about almost painting each scale but you know that takes a lot of time and like mermaid tails aren't perfect they're super cool and they're all different and unique so I just ended up covering it in glue and adding some gold paint if you wanted a tail I don't know green or purple you could have done that too to put this together I initially used hot glue but I'm gonna be honest with you guys after that I realized that it doesn't stick as much so I added a couple of nail glue or super glue to help keep it in place you could use both by the way and I just love it and it fits like an iPhone or even a bigger phone than the one that I used on display you guys could also use the body of another animal if you don't like mermaids but personally I love how it turned out and I hope you guys did too If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. The holiday season is almost over, but we still have at least one or two videos more to come. So, let's stick it around. <laughs> stick it around so you don't miss them. Bye, guys.